All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, I want to do a quick video here. Something I did and something I use off-label, kind of an off-label use of Eco. But I just want to give you a quick breakdown of what I did here, and then I'll explain the Eco here to you. As you can see, the, uh, the paint on the car here is pretty, pretty nice. Uh, earlier today, I came out here and had a bunch of spots on here from where I was power washing my house last week. In the garage door, let me put my bottom in here. In the garage door, drip down on my car, mainly my hood, but for some reason, it's on the, it's on top of my car also. And I had some back in here, on the shoulders here. Um, so what I did is I went and got some isopropyl alcohol. I showed you folks how I mix that stuff up for my windows in some past videos. So I went and got some isopropyl alcohol, and I. Uh, wipe down the water spots and uh what i would do folks is i would highly recommend if you got water spots on your car first off keep your car protected if you keep your car protected then that should you know give you one layer of uh protection between the paint clear coat but uh if you got some water spots on here don't let them sit take care of them almost uh, as soon as you can uh what i do is i take the isopropyl alcohol and i and I'll spray it on the car, wipe it off real quick just to get whatever contamination I can get off immediately. Then I'll spray another layer on, let it sit, I don't know, a minute or two. Then I'll go back and I'll wipe that down also. And of course, the isopropyl alcohol is going to take all your protection, or it should take most of your protection off the car. Get you back down to um, very clear cut. Um, and if it doesn't, then, you know, that speaks volumes on whatever type of product that you're using. So I did that, got rid of most of the spots. As you can see, I don't have any spots in the paint now. Um, so that works. Then what I do here is this, you know, you folks know that I love this Eco. I'm a real big fan. If you look at it, this, uh, can't tell by looking at it, but this is mixed pretty, uh, a little thicker than, than what they recommend. I think on the bottle they recommend anywhere from 10 to 15 to 1, depending on what you're using it for. I uh, got this mix probably a 7 to 8 to 1 on this, and it, and it makes it fairly thick. Uh, and what I do is I spray it on, or what I did tonight is I sprayed it on real thick. But it's set up, I took one microfiber rag, sprayed it with some Eco just to, just to dampen it up. Then I use that rag to massage it, almost like I was waxing the car with a, like a wax, um, a sponge or something. Massage it in, made it like a complete layer of wax. Then I follow back up with that, with the microfiber and dried that off. So I would say it's kind of off label use. I know they kind of recommend the, um, the one, the Eco is uh, it diluted about 15 to one and use it while it's wet and this was i was using more like a wax like a liquid wax here folks so just an idea so again use you some isopropyl alcohol to get those water spots off uh don't let them don't let them eat into your paint then you gotta then you gotta use a uh a rotary tool to get those out and sometimes we can't get them out they, they eat into your paint too much all right folks all right, thanks for stopping by. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much.